Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech Automation Tutorial. I'm Tom Nasser, the Automation Alchemist, and today I'm going to show you how to create Notion pages and database items with Make, formerly known as Integramat. So let's get started and I'll show you how to set it up step by step. First, you need a Notion database to add items to. If you don't have one ready, then make one that you can use as a test. The content of the database isn't important. You can add any fields and information you'd like. You just need to make sure that Make has access to the database. To do this, you'll need to add Make as an integration in Notion. Click on Settings and Members and select Integrations. Make a new integration and give it a name. You can also give it a unique image to make it easy to identify. Once you create the integration, copy the token. When you start making the scenario in Make, you can paste this token to connect your Notion account. That's all you need to connect the accounts. Just note that if your database is within another page, you'll need to make sure that the parent page is also shared. You can start this automation with any module that you want to use to gather data. In our example, we're using a table in Airtable that collects responses to our contact us form. So our automation will run every time there's a new record in this view. With your trigger module all set, add a Notion module to your scenario. Select Create Database Item and enter the database ID. To find an ID, just open the database in your browser. The database ID is the string of characters after your workspace and before question mark V. If you're not part of a workspace in Notion, then the ID will start after notion.so forward slash. Give Make a moment to find your database and then map your data in the fields that come up. We'll map each of our fields from Airtable to a corresponding one in Notion, but you'll notice that we don't have a property in the Notion database for the request field. We could have just created a property and mapped request to it, but since it's a paragraph of text, we want to add that as page content instead. But first, let's test the first two modules in our scenario. We'll pick a record to use, click Run Once, and we can see the data in our Notion table. To add page content to a database item, add a new Notion module. Choose Append a Page Content, then enter the database item ID from the previous module in the field labeled Page ID. Now you can add content blocks one at a time. For each block, choose a content block type, such as heading one, paragraph, etc. You also need to set a type for the content within that block. Here, you can choose from text, mention, or equation. We're going to add a static H1 that just says request content. And then we'll add a paragraph which contains the text of the request that we retrieved from our Airtable module. We'll run this scenario once to test. and we can see that the database item has been updated with some page content. Creating pages is very similar to creating database items, so we won't run through the whole process again. Instead, we'll just take a quick look at the create a page module and some of the key differences. Just add the ID of the parent page and fill in the required fields. Note that you don't have access to many properties when creating a page you'll have to add most of your information as content objects, which can be pretty tedious to set up. This is why we generally prefer to create database items instead. But whichever way you want to go, Make has you covered. Now we'll just test these steps. And we can see our new pages here, complete with the content we added. Now you're all set to start creating Notion pages with your Make scenarios. Automated document creation is a great way to make sure you're keeping track of important data, and it's something we use a lot here at X-Ray. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you'd like to learn more about no-code and low-code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check out all those links in the description down below, and as always, don't forget, keep the flow.